Hello, my name is Mr. Behar, and I'll be your instructor for today's lesson, Introduction to Typing. In today's ever-changing world, typing is a skill that is utilized in our everyday life. The advent of technology has brought us to use typing skills in schools, the workplace, touchpads, searching the internet, creating documents, sending an email, chat rooms, blogging, and much more. Therefore, it is important that you become ready to meet the needs of our current society. Now let's begin. I assume that your instructor has already ensured that you are logged on and ready to go. Also, you should be facing an open word processing program like Microsoft Word. If not, then pause this presentation and have your screen ready for typing. If you are ready, then let's continue. The home keys. The following display exhibits where you should place your fingers at all times when typing. It may be considered your start point. Okay, now place your fingers on those keys now. Okay, since you're a beginner, then I will give you a few seconds to see the screen one more time and adjust your fingers appropriately. Let me give you about five seconds. Okay, let's continue. The next display has been color coded so that you can make a reference to your keypad which allows you to determine finger responsibility. As you can see, the blue keys are pressed with your right and left index fingers. The yellow keys are pressed with your third or middle fingers and the green keys are pressed with your third fingers. The red keys are pressed with your last or pinky fingers and finally, the purple space bar is pressed with your right thumb only. If you are confused, not to worry, because we will allow you to practice in just a moment. Your first drill will begin with your right index finger and its responsibility keys. You should type on your keypad the following characters. J, U, 7, 6, Y, H, N, M, J. With your thumb, press the space bar. Now you try. I will give you about five seconds. Then with your left index finger, press F, R, 4, 5, T, G, B, V, F. And once again, press the space bar with your right thumb. Now you try. I will give you five seconds. You should have the following row of type. Press the enter key with your pinky finger. It is located on the right side of the keyboard. Now practice the letters one more time. Ready, set, go. With your right index finger, press J, U, 7, 6, Y, H, N, M, J, and space bar with your right thumb. With your left index finger, press F, R, 4, 5, T, G, B, V, F, and spacebar with your right thumb. Okay, I think you now have an idea what to expect. Typing is easy, it just takes practice. Typing Drills Part 2 We will continue with the other fingers all at once. We will start with the third finger with each hand and continue to the fourth fingers as well as finishing off with the right and left pinky fingers. Once again, make sure your fingers are placed directly above the home keys. Focus on your right third or right middle finger. Type with me at the same time I mentioned the letters. Ready, set, go. We will start by pressing the K and then the I, the A, the I, the K, 
the comma, K. Now reposition your hands back to the home keys and then press the space bar with your right thumb. Now continue with your left hand, middle finger, and press D, E, 3, E, D, C, D. And reposition your fingers above the home keys and press the space bar with your right thumb. Don't stop. We will continue by pressing the enter key with the right pinky finger. Now start a new row of type with the fourth finger. Right fourth finger. Press L O nine O L period L. Reposition your fingers above the home keys and begin with the left fourth finger. Press S W two W S X S and reposition the fingers above the home keys and press the space bar with your right thumb. Don't stop. We will continue by pressing the enter key with your right pinky finger. Start a new row of type. Using your right pinky, press semicolon P zero P semicolon forward slash semicolon and reposition your hands over the home keys. Press the space bar with your right thumb. Using your left pinky, press A Q one Q A Z A and reposition your hands over the home keys. Now you have completed most of the keys with the appropriate fingers. What do you think? You will have a chance to repeat this exercise. Here is a glance at how your document should appear. Let's repeat this exercise. This time we will reference the colored keys. With the right middle finger, type the yellow keys. K, I, A, I, K, comma, K. Space bar with your right thumb and repeat the process with your left middle finger. Type the yellow keys D, E, 3, E, D, C, D. Space bar with the right thumb. Press enter with the right pinky finger. You should have the following row typed. Now let's type in the green keys. Start with the right fourth finger. Press L O nine O L period L spacebar with your right thumb and continue with the left fourth finger. Type S W two W S X S and spacebar with the right thumb. Press the enter key with the right pinky finger. You should have the following two rows typed. Finally, let's type in the interior red columns. Using the right pinky finger, press semicolon P zero P semicolon forward slash semicolon space bar with the right thumb. Continue with the left pinky finger, press A Q one Q A Z A space bar with the right thumb. Don't forget to press the enter key with your right pinky finger. Now you are finished. Once again your results should look like the following. 